Hi there, thank you for clicking on the AkronNewsNow.com update today. I'm Lindsay McCoy and here are your top local news headlines for today. New unemployment figures for the Akron area are out. The bad news is that Akron's unemployment rate is 12.2 percent, but the good news is it didn't go up last month. Figures released by the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services shows a bleak picture in Barberton where the rate is 14.4 percent, which is actually down a little from February. In Canton, 4.1 percent of the workforce spent the last month pounding the pavement. And the numbers for Kent, Medina, Cuyahoga Falls, and Stowe are listed on AkronNewsNow.com. Questioning the levy for Revere Local Schools, normally the treasurer for the Citizens for Responsible School Administration would be the first to support a levy. But Larry Klebinas says that the justifications given by Revere Local School District are false and misleading. He wants the district to remove the levy request from the ballot. But Revere CFO Dave Forrest says that that's not going to happen. CRSA says that the group is checking to see whether the district has stepped over the line and will face any legal action. Summit County will not be selling its Veterans Service Commission headquarters to the city of Akron. Summit County Executive Russ Pry withdrew his request to give the vacant building and surrounding land on Park Street to the city for one dollar. Several county council members questioned why the county, which has been going through tough times financially, wouldn't just auction the property off. Pry says the county will examine the situation carefully. Two more suspects are now in custody in connection with the death of an Akron man. It happened last weekend. Police have now been following up on tips, and Wednesday they picked up two men, charged them with aggravated murder in the death of 38-year-old Clifford Cummings Jr. of Akron. Suspects Jarmel Latimer of Akron and Lawrence Burfitt of Ravenna joined suspect Damian Backstrom in the Portage County Jail. In AkronNewsNow.com, sports game three between the Cavs and the Bulls will be played tonight in Chicago. The Cavaliers lead the series two games to none, and LeBron James says the team is focused on tonight. Game. Right now, game three is our most important game. That's the only thing we're focusing on. Um, and tomorrow night is going to be a key. Uh, Anthony Parker says tonight's game in Chicago won't be easy to win. But it's playoff time, too. And, and you go on the road anywhere in the playoffs, it's going to be a tough, tough game and, and a tough environment. Tip off is set for 7 o'clock this evening, and you can listen to the game live on 1590 WAKR. As we take a look at our local weather forecast today, mostly sunny skies. We have plenty of sunshine to enjoy this week. A uh, high of 64 degrees today. We have a slight chance for showers in the afternoon on Friday, a high of 64 degrees. We're only dipping into the 40s Friday night. For your weekend, we have a chance for showers both Saturday and Sunday. We're staying in the mid-60s, and we'll stick around in the 60s Monday with a likely chance for showers. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news, for news online, on demand now. And don't forget, you can also check out our latest news updates on Facebook and on Twitter, too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy.